Hello. <laughs> you guys thought that I slept through this, didn't you? I didn't. I didn't. Alright. Don't you doubt me. Don't you doubt me. Hold on. I'm opening up the chat on a laptop. That way I don't miss it as much. That's wisdom. That's wisdom right there. Morning, everyone. Morning, morning, morning. You can't see the video for giving big time? Why? Can you hear the audio? Can everyone else see it? Uh-oh. Kinesi said, I saw the stream title update. Good. Good. Yeah, nah, bro. We're not late. You guys are just early. All right. I'm cold today. Also, I'm a smarty pants. Actually, no, I'm not claiming this. Wife uses smarty pants. And um, we've got a tripod set up. So I've got my hands free, which is nice. Oh, it's cold in Melbourne as well. You've got video and audio. All right, good, good. There is all good. How you guys doing? Have you guys had a uh, coffee already yet? Because I haven't. I'm gonna suggest you need a selfie stick or something. Yeah, well, Kinesi, I literally said to wife yesterday, I'm like, I feel like I need a selfie stick because otherwise my arms are just like this the whole time. And I'm like, it's tiring after doing that for an hour. Um, and then she was like, hey, we've got a tripod. Just use that. And so set it up and here we are. So there you go. And if you're wondering why I'm looking down here, there's my laptop with the chat on it. Nothing but the chat on it. So we're chilling, all right? I'm not cheating and like, I don't know, checking Twitter or something. All right, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. Hey, Harvo, how are you, brother? It is afternoon, not morning. It's 4.30 p.m. Sinner, you're all crazy. It's cold in South Australia too. Waiting on your Uber Eats for coffee. Your Uber Eating a coffee? Can you see how rich are you, bro? Your Uber Eating a coffee? Imagine Uber eating a coffee. Are you just getting coffee or are you Uber eating breakfast and a coffee? Because then it's like, all right, you can kind of justify it. But otherwise the drive costs more than the coffee. I think, I don't know. I don't know how Uber Eats works where you are, but. And an egg and bacon roll. All right, now you're making me real hungry. All right, well, I did make a coffee, but I left it inside. So I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna get it. Hopefully you can see yourself in the reflection here. Hold on, can you see yourself in the reflection? Look at this. Can you see what I'm holding, fam? I'm hold oh, actually, there's a big mirror inside. We'll just go see that. I'm gonna keep quiet. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm just getting my coffee. <laughs> oh, because I was trying to be quiet for your sake. Why? I don't know. Just in case. Wifey literally calls out to me from the bedroom and she's like, kids? I'm like, yeah. She's like, what, what's up? I'm like, why are you quiet? Aren't you supposed to be live? No, we are live, we are live, all right. I've got my coffee. Why is it angled so low, bro? Oh no, now it's sideways. Oh, I broke it for it. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with, I've got my coffee. I just need to put some milk. And actually, can I flip it? Can I flip the camera? Yes. It has been flipped. Oh, also I left my laptop outside so I can't see the chat right now. How do I turn the chat on on my phone? Show chat. There we go. There we go. We're good. Much nicer time than 7.30, yeah. Correct. Hey, Kinesi, why are you still pulling up the lake, man, for bro? Why are you doing that? Oh, man. My phone won't stay up straight. It's probably because this is such a dodgy tripod. Oh no, Sarah heard me. This is her tripod. So she went, oi. You guys got me in trouble. And the milk. Milk of the almond. Perfect. And we're just gonna chuck some honey, and we are good. And savvy goal. It's probably a little too much, but that's okay. We need the wake up juice. Oh no! <laughs> almost, almost sent my phone flying. 
almost, but I didn't. So, you know, silver lining, silver lining. All right, let me just stir this. And then we'll go back outside. All right, let's go. Oops. Bro, this tripod is terrible. Okay. I forget. Ta-da. Actually, wait, no, I want it this way. And flip. Hello again. All right, I'm gonna put this down here. Almost built it. I'm just gonna put my spoon away, be happy. Oh, bro, this tripod's so bad. <laughs> Don't tell Sarah, this is her tripod. She's very protective about this tripod. But like, real talk though, it's terrible. It's a garbage tripod. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it level. Is it so much to ask? Is it so much to ask for? Apparently. Apparently it is. Rip the dream, but you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Alright, back to the laptop so I can see the chat. And we've got it. Perfect. Are you just going to go brush your hair? Mate, it's important stuff. What time do you guys all start work? Samuel said, is daylight savings changing this weekend? I have no idea. Milo, you could hear the airplane sound. You could take a nap on this thing? Yeah, yeah, I have, I have napped on this. And uh, it's pretty great. Hey Matt, how you doing dude? They always out here, welcome. Did we go for a run last night? We didn't. And the scary thing about that, Sinna, is that um, today is Friday, and this Sunday is our 12k. We're running 12 kilometers this Sunday, and we're gonna try and do it non-stop. Yeah. Right now we can't even do like four, let alone 12. So we we're supposed to be training right up until it. We run like once. So, you know, wish us luck. Probably, probably going to regret this. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Fox said no daylight savings changes over the Easter weekend. There you go, Fox with the intel. Also, morning, Fox. Good to see you, bro. I had dinner with that man yesterday, and his amazing wife as well. Joshy said just drop it in to say hi before the inevitable dot 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 school. School is inevitable, my friend. But do well, you'll be fine. Seven forty, I need to leave for work. Um, but you start at eight. Yeah, okay. Wait, Bear, how does that work for you? Like, is it just getting to the site you're supposed to go? Or do you, on the days you aren't on the road, do you have like an office that you work from? I don't think I've ever asked you that before. I know like 99%, if not all of the time, correct me if I'm wrong, you're on the road and going to different locations, but on a normal day where you aren't, or, or is that not a thing? Or is a normal day you being on the road? I don't know, educate us, Bear, educate us. Um, 4th of April, okay. Um, you don't go to work, but you do have school starting in a week. It's spring break, there you go, green boy. Are you excited for it, or are you not keen? K-Man's got no work today. Hey, what a guy. Just need to turn your work laptop on and switch your monitor over at 8.30. Ah, okay, right. So work just means flicking on the right pieces of gear. How's dinner? What'd you have? We went to a Vietnamese restaurant, which was fun. Um, is my camera slanted for you guys? It looks kind of slanted to me. So I'm just gonna adjust this and try not to break it. Oh, bro. 
every time. There's gonna be a compilation of the times where the camera falls. Cause this tripod, you can't lock it like, or can you, hold on, if I twist this, nah, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. Yo, JB, thank you for the follow, my friend. God bless ya. Welcome to the Skype, man. Good to have you here. Grab a coffee, hang out. All right, so good having you here. What a champion. What a champion. You start dinner after the IRL stream. Oh, that's so confusing. That's so weird. Yo, Harvo said a few days ago, I asked out my crush and she said, yes, I'm so happy. Ah, Harvo. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, bro. Shuriken's got spring break next week. Fair enough. Don't break it. FBT, I'm trying, dude. No promises, though. No promises. Gotta go to school, Harvo. Sounds good, man. Make it happen. Are you able to get your normal stream elements notifications on mobile? Yes. No, as in like the normal notifications, the the veggie tails one and the dibs up the drop and everything. Um, I don't think so. Just got a random bead here in my mouth. I don't think so. Um, because as you've seen, it pops up differently. But I don't know. I'm using the stream elements app. If you know a way that I can, that would be great. But yeah. Um, JB said, "What's up?" Just waking up, champion. Just waking up. Hey, Ollie. Ollie says, hey, yo, is that past the scar? Probably not, dude. Probably not. This is some sleep deprived version. <laughs> oh, Sarah and I could not sleep last night. Like, at all. Like, lights are off. We're not even talking. Like, we're literally trying to sleep. And, like, hours, hours are going by and we can't sleep. And I thought it was just me. And then eventually I just trying to say out loud, I just cannot get to sleep. And then I hear Sarah's voice because apparently she wasn't asleep either. And she's like, me neither. And then we realized, so yesterday morning, we tried a Vietnamese iced coffee, um, which we've had in Vietnam, but not since Vietnam. And we saw it at this cafe. And so we literally drove like 10 minutes yesterday morning to get a Vietnamese iced coffee because we were just feeling nostalgic. We miss traveling. So we we're like, let's get it. And we did. And bro, I don't know what's in Vietnamese iced coffee, but I, Sarah reckons it's a double shot because we, we could not sleep. We had that at like 7.30 in the morning, but we could not sleep that night. Like, so I'm really tired right now, like more so than normal even, if that is somehow possible. You may play with it this weekend, see what options it has. Yeah, dude, Kinesi, have a fiddle around for sure. Hey, Roosh. Not gonna have her for a while. He's no longer a single man. Hey, I'm not a single man. I'm still here. Bear's not a single man. He's still here. We've got lots of non-single men that are here and lots of non-single women that are here. So, uh, don't you doubt our friend Harbo, all right? Yo, Kirby, welcome. Long time no see. Well, welcome back, Kirby. So good having you here. So good having you here. Also, uh, the Mill is hanging out with us. What's up, Mill? Good daddy. Samuel, that's the worst. It is. Those coffees are good, but super strong. Yeah, yeah, we learned that. Stronger than Cuban coffee. I don't know what Cuban coffee is, but I'll take your word for it. Like, it's it's wild, it's wild. You've never had coffee? Ollie, keep it that way for as long as you can, my friend. As long as you can. Lydia? Uh, nah, bro, I feel like this is a troll. I feel like this is a troll. I ain't even, I ain't even. Oh no, Arush, Arush, if this is a troll, we're about to find out. Marshy says, hey, I can only stay for like two minutes because I got to get the bus, but how are we all? We are great, Marshy, we are tired, but we are great. Once you have coffee, it's all over, that's true. Have you tried the egg coffee? What's the egg coffee, Kimisi? Is that a thing? Is it made with egg? Okay, not, not trolling, not trolling. Okay, all right, good. Glad, glad to hear it, Kirby. Glad to hear it. I didn't know what to expect. Normally when people use a word that we don't know, they're waiting for someone to ask what, and then it's like a knock-knock joke. You know what I mean? It's like, there's the first half of a word, then you drop the second half of the word, and then it says something inappropriate, and you go, ha 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 ha, and then you get banned anyway. Like, it's, you know, great times, great times. <laughs> Vietnam has an egg coffee. Okay, I didn't know that. We had Vietnamese iced coffee like every morning when we were in Vietnam. They've got another coffee there at the same cafe called the Vietnamese um, Phil Coffee? Fan Coffee? It, I swear it was like a PH. Vietnamese something coffee. I, I think it was PHIL. I 
think. I don't know, if there's anyone here that's Vietnamese, let me know if that makes sense to you, because um, I think that's what was on the menu. It was in the same section as like the drip coffee and the something else coffee. And it said next to it specifically requires at least 10 minutes brew time. So it, I'm, I'm curious, like considering getting it. But if it's a double shot, I don't think I can handle it, man. I'm still gonna be awake the next week. But there you go, new tech in character. Cross country today, Ollie. Mate, do it, do it. Big Bear's like, I might have broken you for trolling. Oh, Bear, I've been streaming for three years, meaning there's been trolls for three years, brother. Don't worry, you're fine. You're fine. Yo, John, thank you for being here. God bless you, friend. Welcome to the Scar Fan. So good, so good to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Morning. Fin filter, I have one of those at home. A bit of work, but nice coffee. Okay, so is that a Viet thing? I'm all for coffee. <laughs> oh, I see. I see what you're doing, cheeky humans. Chris would be appreciated if you could. I go into my math SAC at 10 10 until 11 25. So nervous. All right, Scarfam, be praying. Be praying. For those of you that pray, I know not everyone here does, but for those of you that pray, please be praying for our dear friend, Marshy, because uh, she has her maths exam today. Marshy, how many hours from now is that? Just so that people can pray like around the, the same time. Also, I'm making Big Bear's life so much harder because there are some parts of the stream where I've been like centered to the camera and other parts that I've been like over here and like over here. And the way he's been editing it, at least for last week's one, he's put the chat on the side. But now like half the time I'm going to be over here and then the chat's going to have to like... <laughs> Love you, Bear. Just keeping your life interesting, my friend. Just keeping it interesting. You should bring back Friday night customs. I miss those. <gasps> Speaking of Friday night, there's a cash cup today. No, there's a Friday night's bragging rights cup today. First cup of the season. And I'm totally thinking of playing it if I can get to go to teammates. So um, we'll see, we'll see. I might not stream it though. Love the garden, says Jordan. Hey, thank you, Jordan, appreciate you. Appreciate you. You place the filter on the coffee cup and wait for the water to go through the coffee. Cool. I prefer the cafes to do it, and I just receive it and enjoy it. It's a better system for me. What time is the Bragging Cup? Um, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Sydney time. So, yeah, if I can get the right teammates, I'll play it. Otherwise, I won't. But I've already gotten wifey's permission. So, like, the, the, we've, we've got the box ticked in terms of um, the ability to play it. So, there you go. I wonder, if I drag this thing... Hold on. So I can't see the full camera frame, so I'm never gonna be centered in it because Stream Elements has this like overlay on the side. Unless this is the full camera frame. Am I centered right now? Or am I like closer to this side? Because on my screen, I'm dead center right now. But I don't know if that's because the Stream Elements, there's a Stream Elements overlay over on that side. Right aligned and yeah. I am centered. Okay, so that is the, so hold on. Um, right now my hand should be touching like the wall of the camera frame and this side would be there. Is that correct? Or do I look like I'm high-fiving nothing? Or am I touching the edge? Yes, okay. That's good to know. So the overlay on this app doesn't actually cover the camera frame, it just kind of pushes it in. Okay, that's heaps better then, that's heaps better. Here I was thinking that I was like super off center this whole time, getting mad self-conscious. Now stop moving. <laughs> hey, Kinesi got the coffee and the bacon egg roll, love it. Love it, love it. Shuriken had a math test the other day and the grade came in today and he got an A. Bro, if I had the little clapping sound effect right now, Shuriken, I want you to visualize the entire sky beam clapping for you right now, okay? Hmm. Not even joking, let's run it up. Done really well before in catch cups, like you got multiple 200 and then I see seven top 100. Are you serious, Rich? I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to it, man. I'm not opposed to it, to be honest with you. Are you allowed, Arush, from NA? Are you allowed to play in an OCE server cup? It's not a cash cup anyway, it's the bragging rights one. But like our top, my, my top placement, sorry, was, it's the one that's on YouTube. We got top 3%, I don't remember what that is. 
I think it was like top 300 or 500. I, I don't remember, to be honest, but I was super happy with it, but we got like 138 points, I think. That was when I played um, with, I think it was Raxi and Tice. I think, could be wrong. Hey, Ventus, hi, your brother. You clapped IRL, good, good. Shuriken, that's for you, by the way, so I hope you uh, can feel it. I hope you feel the warmth of that in your heart. You're only in middle school and learning high school math as well. What's middle school, dude? Because here we've got primary school, which is years one to six, or technically kindergarten to six, and then high school, which is seven to 12. It's a very simple system. Primary, the lower one, and then high, the higher one. That's it. Middle school ain't a thing. So, um, educate us, bro, educate us. Haru said, yeah, I'm serious. Um, I'm allowed because it's nothing serious like FNCS. Okay. I didn't know that Fortnite had a, this is or isn't serious rule. I thought it was just a regions are regions. You got to stick to it kind of thing, but maybe not. Kobe, you got to go have a great day. Hey, you too, Kobe. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out. Appreciate you. And I hope you're well, friend. If there's anything we can be praying for you about, as always, let us know. Love to back you up in that way. Back you up. Yes, that is a sentence. <laughs> Oh, my brain's not working yet. Do, 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 do. Yo, Katrina says good morning. Katrina, what time is it for you right now? I know it's not morning for you, but what time is it for you right now? Elementary is K to five. Middle school is six to eight. High school is nine to 12. There you go. So here, if someone says that you're starting high school, it means you're starting year seven. Whereas there, if you're starting high school, you're starting year nine. That is quite different. That is quite different. 3.55 p.m. Well, Snow, I appreciate you remembering that it's morning here. I mean, it's kind of easy to remember when I look like this. I'm like, uh, hey, guys. <laughs> There's the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone's going to be like, who's this drunk Indian guy on stream? Like, what's, what's going on? You got to dip for 10 minutes and then come back. All right, man. I'll, I'll still be here. I'll still be here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is it morning? It's definitely morning, mate. It's definitely morning. Pat with the hydration. I too will join you in the hydrate. Well, so I'm thinking next week for this segment, our uh, Friday morning unfiltered, I'm thinking of like going somewhere. I don't know where. I'm thinking of going somewhere. You know, we'll go for a walk around the park with a lake and a bird. Just one bird. Just one individual bird will be there. It'll be beautiful. All right. It'll be so romantic. It's the best way to start a Friday morning. But it also requires me to then wake up even earlier in order to drive there because I don't want to drive while streaming because I don't want to die, which is fair. Um, I also don't know if that's illegal or not and I don't want to risk it. But um, yeah. Also, driving from home would be a terrible idea because then you could see where I live and that kind of stuff. So privacy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Good Friday next Friday. Ah. Are you walking the bird? Or is the bird just there? Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the bird will just be there. As much as I'd love to walk a bird, put it on a little leash and just, just walk around. Oh, can you imagine owning a penguin? Like, if, if a penguin. I want a pet penguin. Those are gold. If you had a pet penguin on a little cute leash, and it just like wobbles around with you, and you can just go for walks with your penguin. Oh, bro. I need that in my life. Like, I didn't realize how much I needed that until now. But all of a sudden, I really, really need it. K-Man said, I think high school starts year eight at some places in ACT. Are you serious? I've not heard that before, man. Do you drive in real life like you do in Fortnite? Hey, hey, I drive significantly better in Fortnite than I do in real life, all right? You be careful. Also, sleepy one. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit us with a follow. Sleepy one, thank you for the follow. God bless you, my friend. Welcome to the Scar Fam, and uh, I, I hear you. I hear you, sleepy one. I hear you. What if there is no bird? Then you all get a full refund of the cost of this live stream. There you go, it's a pretty good deal. Money back guarantee, all right? Money back guarantee. Unfortunately, the stream is free, so you get nothing, but that's okay. What's Alice Springs Friday morning unfiltered going to look like? That's a great question, bro. I don't know, but I'm sure it's gonna be incredibly exciting. Like, I am sure it's gonna be incredibly exciting. Someone take his license. 
<laughs> Green Boy's like, protect this man! Get him out of the vehicles! Oh man. You can surprise attack Scar and wake him up. Nah, dude. I'm a savage, alright? You guys think I can 1v1 in Fortnite? You watch me IRL, alright? I grew up in a place called Bonnie Rig, and like, man, don't mess with the Bono kids. They're crazy. They're crazy. <laughs> Ever since they put middle school in some schools. I did not know that, K-Man. I did not know that we had middle school in Australia as well. Plus, this guy got his license from Spongebob. Hey, don't knock Spongebob. He is a great driving instructor. Okay? The man lives in a pineapple under the sea. Like, as if he wouldn't know how to drive well. I think he just challenges you to a 1v1 IRL. Nah, 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 nah. Chill, chill, chill. Bear and I are on the same team. All right. Relax, you know. Relax. You got a new gaming PC? About to download and try PC Fortnite? <gasps> Snow, that's sick. I'd be so down to run a duo with you. At some point. That'd be fun. My mum used to think that SpongeBob's name was SpongeBob... Sponge... <laughs> SpongeBob... No, SquareBob SpongePants. Oh, that is... SquareBob SpongePants. That's a, that's a hard one to say. That's a tongue twister. And not just because I'm tired, all right? Yo, what's up, Sky? Welcome. Sky, is this your first Friday morning unfiltered? Is this your first IRL stream that you've been hanging out with us? What a champion. Good to have you here. Sky says, here it depends on your area. Some places have middle school and some don't. There you go. Sky, could you just clarify where he is for people that might not know what you mean? Since there are some people where he is Melbourne, Sydney, Kansas, like, you, you name it. You name it, we've got it. Scar FM are everywhere. Tournament starts at 12 to 3 a.m. Actually, part Scar, I don't think I can play. That's fair, Rush. That's, that's fair. Like, sleep is an important thing. Sleep is an important thing. And yo, did Sammy J just drop a 100 bit cheer? My man, coming in huge. He knows that there won't be a dibs that loot drop sound effect, and yet still, he puts a dollar on the table and says, Scar FM. This is yours. What a champion, Sammy J. You're amazing. I may be sleep deprived, but I'm still grateful, brother. God bless you. Square Bob Sponge Pants. Melbourne calls kindergarten prep, and kindergarten is preschool. It confuses me. What? Preschool's the one before kindergarten. But they call kindergarten prep. And kin no, no, I'm not going there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I don't have kids, so I don't need to know this stuff anyway. So we're fine. <laughs> Even more. You have a nine something hour drive home today? Bear, nine something hours. Are you just like consuming every podcast available? Like what do you do? I know you said you have prayer time, which is awesome. That's such a brilliant idea. But having prayer time on the drive, so cool. But um, what else do you do to pass that time, man? Like when you have a nine hour drive, like, like, yeah, mate. What do you, what do, you do on a nine hour drive other than drive? Sorry, British Columbia, I eat. Canada, another one of our Canadian legends. So good. So good. Arush, you can't just ask someone on Twitch their address, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> dibs that loot drop, crash loud noise. What, what? Was there a dibs that loot drop? Oh, right, I think Sammy J's one. Kamisi um, said coffee is so good. Hydrate. Wait, there's a dollar symbol next to it. Oh, he dropped a five dollar holler. Yo, Kinesi, my man, I didn't even see that. You are a champion, bro. God bless you, man. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so, so much for supporting this ministry, bro. You are incredible. In case you're wondering why I'm looking down, I've got my laptop here now so I can see the chat. Should I just hold it like this so that way you know exactly what's going on? Oh, look at this. It's like the my regular screen, right? There's the, there's the screen behind me. This is pretty much exactly the same as the stream room. Yep. Look, I can't tell the difference personally. <laughs> <laughs> You're all good, Arush. You're all good. West Clayton slash Langley. I wish I knew where these places were. One day I'll go to these places. That'll be fun. That will be fun. Ollie, I don't even know what you just said that you eat, but stay safe, bro. Stay safe. The natural light. Natural light's a beautiful thing. 
but it's also one that we can't control. So like right now, as you can see, the fence there is starting to overexpose. See how it's like, I don't know if you just noticed, but literally as I said it, it kind of pulsated because the camera is trying to like adjust. So there'll be points where I'll go super dark because that is too bright, blah, 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 blah. The benefit of the stream room is I blocked out all natural light, therefore I control it. Therefore, across the span of a three hour live stream, you don't notice any fluctuations in what's going on, even though it's gone from daytime to nighttime outside, you don't notice. So. Uh, Illusions, it's great, it's great. IRL word ban. You banned the word larder? I've never said that word in my life. I don't even know what that is. But okay, challenge accepted. Five minutes, starts now, it's 8.04. I don't have a little timer, so it's 8.04, mate. We'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. Your cousin is getting married in British Columbia in September. Oh, did you know the weddings? Um, there's no cap here anymore soon. I think on Monday. I'm pretty sure on Monday, like there's no, there's no more limitations. So you could literally have 500 people at your wedding if you wanted to, which is wild. Don't know if it's a good idea to be honest with you, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We're just rolling the dice on this whole COVID thing, but you know. It is what it is. Sit on apple pie, says pasta sky, no rain today. So are they working on your house? Bro, they better be. We went yesterday and had a look. Um, and the so because they've removed the bricks from the front, the house is just kind of a big open hole, i.e. rain and everything gets in. So what they've been doing is every night they've tarped it. So they've put a big sheet of plastic over it to protect the inside of the house and the electrics and all that kind of stuff. Um, but when Sarah and I went after dinner and had a look, the corner of the tarp had come off the wall. So it was hanging down and we could see the exposed wires. We could see all the insulation, like, we we're like, that's not ideal. So I'm really, really, really hoping that the builders have already arrived this morning and fixed it. Um, because if rain gets in that, man, it's going to be like, not ideal. But, um, yeah, but no, like literally, um, the, the sun is is very clear, like very clear today, which is brilliant. So we'll keep our eye on that one. <laughs> oh, Sammy J, with a 200 bit cheer, mate, you were already the biggest bit cheer of the day and you've just gone and doubled yourself. Thank you so much, Sammy J. God bless you, dude. You're amazing. Does New South Wales require QR codes for those events? I got no idea. I, I don't think so, dude. I don't think so because I don't think your everyday person getting married knows how to set up a QR code. But I could be wrong. Brett would know. Fox53. Turn to him as your source of all intel. That's what I do. And it's, it's got me to where I am today. So, you know, no regrets. Um, Kinesi said, no masks except for public transport such as airports for Victoria from 6 p.m. tonight. There you go. So here, as of Monday, you don't have to wear masks on public transport anymore. We did because when Sarah and I went away um, for the weekend, last weekend, um, we caught a train at one point and yeah, masks were mandatory. Are you wearing your space PJ pants? Cinnamon apple pie, I've dropped the camera that many times. How have you not seen my pants? All right, I'm wearing shorts today. I'm wearing shorts today, we got these, we got these. Also, you know what's embarrassing? I don't know if you can see my socks, but one of them is that, and the other one, oh, let's not die, is that. Yep, that's not ideal, but you know, all right, this, this couch thing is not very stable, so let's just not do that again. But yeah, now I woke up in my dazed state and grabbed two black socks thinking they were the same. And that was that. Hey, you know a fun fact about wifey? Fun fact about Sarah is that to this day, from the day I met her, I have never once seen her wearing matching socks before. It's like her thing. She does not, she does not wear matching socks. I have literally seen her get a brand new packet that had like three different pairs of socks. There was like red socks, green socks, and blue socks. I think I got them for her for Christmas, like Christmas socks. And I have literally seen her grab one from the red and one from the blue and then put them on, as opposed to grabbing both reds. She, she just won't, she just won't do it. She would rather go sockless than wear matching socks. It's just her thing. I don't even know why. She's been like that since before I met her and I love it about her. She's so quirky. Like, even if she's at work, she's in full corporate mode. If she's wearing socks for whatever reason, if they ever make her take off her shoes, it will be content, let me tell you. Because uh, there you go. 
It's steel frame house, oh, right, by Scar, it won't do too much damage. Yeah, yeah, so it is steel frame. It's more the fact that all the insulation will be exposed, which I'm, I assume that would be some level of weatherproof, but it's more the um, wiring, because they had to cut a bunch of the wires um, because that's where the, the car hit and the lighting and whatnot. Um, and so you, we can see that it's all like kind of wrapped up, but there, normally it's hidden by the tarp, but now the tarp is gone, so we could just like see all these cables and we're like, but um, it should be okay, hopefully. I do know you need QR code slash COVID plans if you have over 100 people in your home. Bro, who can even fit over 100 people in your home? All right, if you have a home big enough to fit 100 people, you can hire someone to get a QR code set up for you if, if you are that not tech savvy. You know what I mean? But uh, there you go. Oh, it's life. You should legit get... I don't even know what you're saying, bro, but... The five minute word ban ends in like a few seconds, so I'm not gonna read your message out yet, Ben. All right, I might not be awake yet, but the 200 IQ is still going, all right. <laughs> oh wait, my chat paused. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, I'm at the wrong section because I must have touched it by accident. So there you go. Blue Elvis said, may I ask if you're streaming from your phone? Yes, you may. And yes, I am. Absolutely, I am. How are you doing, Elvis? Do, 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 do. Not an OBS app. Oh, look, forgive me, Big Time's already answering every question. Mate, the guy's on point. That's why he's a moderator right there, that's why. I may need to just start wearing odd socks. Somehow I always lose one of my socks. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm doing it right now, and uh, it's definitely the metal. It's definitely the metal. <laughs> Have you considered taking away and hiding all of her socks and only leaving her one pair just to see what happens? She would just not wear socks, or she would wear one of the socks and then go barefoot on the other foot. Like, she's very passionately committed to the odd sock movement. Hashtag odd socks. Dab for the fam. Bam! There you go. But what I realized when I dab in the morning streams, my head doesn't move. Like, I do that, but my, you know, yeah, dab, you're technically supposed to do that, but nope, in the morning, so my brain's just like, nah, my arms are moving, that's all you get. <laughs> so good. You can't fit more than 10 in my home? Yeah, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Wait, FPT said my house could fit 100 people. No one could move slash breathe. But I think I could get that many people in here. You're crazy. All right, FPT, you're telling me your house could fit 100 people and you still haven't invited me over yet? What's up with that, dude? Check your heart. All right, check your heart. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. I know you're on the other side of the globe. One day, though, one day, we're going to be vibing out in your lounge room. and It's going to be a great time. Might even duo stream it just for the lols. Hey Pigeon, uh, what's going on? Oh, just, just vibing, just vibing. How you doing Pigeon? You up, you alive, you awake? Um, I could, but they will stand and not move. I, I have been in your home, Snow Katrina. See, Snow Katrina, her home is on the other side of the map. She's in the US, but I've been there. I've been there, I've sat at her dining table with her husband and took him out for a meal. Where did we go? We went to Chipotle. We did. Because it's the only time I've ever had Chipotle, and I wanted to try it. And they hadn't tried it either at that point. And so I was like, mush out, we're going Chipotle. And we did. Even Flying Jimbo came out, if you guys know Flying Jimbo, he's a friend of ours, he came out. I'm great, boss, I still love your vibe. I like that you're doing some more IRL streams. Yeah, Elvis, we do this every Friday morning, um, just for an hour, just while people get ready for school and work and that kind of thing, and just, just, just hang out. And, you know, uh, I think the community are really loving it. I know I am. Um, cause it's just a lot more personal cause there's no gameplay. We, we're just hanging out. Hey Raxi, how you doing champion? <laughs> Roosh, you feel betrayed. <laughs> I'm sorry dude, I tried. I tried. You boys are the human, let's go. And of course you're Aussie too, that, that is true. Yo, Ultra Robo, you having a coffee too? Mate, I finished mine. I finished mine, unfortunately. Feels bad. But, Speaking of coffee, you missed it, but earlier in the stream I was talking about how last, last morning. Wow. My brain's not up yet, mate. I know you might be a breakfast radio host, but your boy here, all right, until I'm actually working as a breakfast radio host, which who knows, who knows, right? Maybe one day. But um, until then, I'm not waking up. I, I just, I just choose not to, all right? <laughs> Except for you guys on a Friday morning, which is when we do this. But yesterday we had a Vietnamese iced coffee and I am still buzzing from it. And that was yesterday morning. Wifey and I could not sleep right last night. Oh, Trubbo, how you been, man? 
And um, well, not I was gonna say more importantly, that's that's a lie. Not more importantly, we're all draw, bro. Let's catch up. Let's do lunch. Let me know when you're free. Text me, bro. Text me. Let's catch up. It would just be cool. I just miss you, dude. And it'll be it'll be good to catch up. Hear what's going on in your life and vice versa. Just connect again. That'll be fun. Um, Big Bear said, what would happen if you put a pair of socks on her at night? She wakes up with a pair on. Um, I would be single. Um, so I'm not going to do that there. Like, let's let's not. I uh, can't check stream elements app. They don't have an iOS version. Really? Uh, Tanisi, please don't buy an Android phone just to help us troubleshoot something. Like, I appreciate your commitment, mate. But unless you've got one lying around, you're all good, bro. You're all good. You should visit Canada and hold a viewing party for all the NA West folks. That would be sick, dude. I'd love that. I've been to Canada once, um, but I was much younger. All I really remember is that there was Niagara Falls and a ton of squirrels, like squirrels everywhere. Like, like you're trying not to step on them. They're everywhere. Yeah, it was, it was wild, dude. Now my child's memory is probably exaggerating that a bit, but that's how I remember it. <laughs> oh man. Yo, there you go, Ultra Robo. That's wild, bro. Is that like at a particular church? Helping a small church heal after a hard season? Mate, what a journey. There you go. Mate, I I'd love to hear more about that. For sure. Mate, well, let let's get you back on Real Talk sometime. That'll be fun. We've had you on once already. And, and I think it was really awesome to just hear some more insight from another pastor and all that kind of stuff. Always trying to get a variety of, of voices investing into the lives of this community. Of course, we had... Pastor Jack, and we brought back our Carry Jack series just yesterday in Real Talk. For those of you that missed it, um, we've had all kinds of people on lately, so uh, that'll be good. Kinesi said, you may need to look in Stream Elements overlay settings for one labeled mobile to see if you can get the Sky overlays added in. All right, I'll, I'll take a look at some point. If I can figure out how to do that without being live, that would be most ideal. Also, I know that me grabbing this tripod was so that I don't have to hold my phone anymore, but this is ridiculous. Now I'm holding the laptop just so that I've got the chat available to me. Like, I think it was easier holding the phone, man. <laughs> just putting it out there. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Arush, I mean, it's 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 not lighted. Like, Northgate, Bell Rose. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. I'm really happy for you, man. Like, if, if that's what God has called you to, and that's the decision that he's put on your heart, then, mate, go big. Like, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Green Boy said, I remember Ultra Robber. I friendly stream sniped you too. You did. You did. When we were playing with Robber, we did clutch the dub, by the way. We made that happen. And Green Boy jumped in just to give us a little dance. Um, need to build a FMU set with, like, a desk. Bear, I've got no idea what you're talking about, mate. What is what is an FMU set? Let's try and figure it out together, fam. Everyone take a guess. What does FMU stand for? Without Big Bear telling us yet. A fridge mounting unit set with a desk. Oh, mobile unit? That's probably that's probably that's probably more fully mobile unit. If F stands if F stands for fully, I will like lose it. That is brilliant. A fully mobile unit. It's so, it's so mobile. Fork, mule, ostrich. That's probably it, Green Boy. You, you probably nailed it, mate. Coming in with the wisdom. Fortnite mobile unreleased. Yep, that's what he's building. Oh, Friday morning unfiltered. It's literally this segment. It's this. <laughs> oh, I'm dead, bro. I'm dead. It's li <laughs> So Friday streams are what we like to refer to in the industry as Friday morning unfiltered. I say in the industry, but it's literally just me making stuff up. And uh, we called it that about a year and a half ago when I first did a morning stream because it was just like, because my brain hadn't woken up yet, it was like, you never know what's gonna be said in the Friday morning stream. It was, it's, it's as raw as they come, fam. There's no music, there's no sound effects, there's no anything, it's just, hanging out, vibing out, drinking coffee, and slowly waking up. And um, it was a great time. And so I know a lot of people loved it back then. We ended up canning the segment just because of work commitments for me. I had to start getting to church um, at the same time that I would have been streaming and all that kind of stuff. This is when I was still working at church, by the way. Um, and then obviously two weeks ago, we brought the segment back to the uh, huge, huge, huge excitement 
of the entire Scar Bam. And so, uh, there you go. Sleep deprived version. Yep. I, I, I told you, man. I told you. Funhouse Mud Cake Uniform. If that was Unicorn, that would be even better, but that still sounds great. But imagine a Funhouse Mud Cake Unicorn, though. Can we all just take a moment to visualize a unicorn with mud cake in a funhouse? Like, I don't know if that's terrifying or brilliant. It's, it's one of the two. It's definitely one of the two. Fat Mighty Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, you're wild, bro. I like that you guys are still guessing, even though Big Bear's already told us. Friday morning unfiltered. How did he expect us to get that abbreviation, though? We've never abbreviated it before, bro. Like, there's no way we would get that. Oh, man. Have you been watching the Falcon and Winter Soldier series on Disney? I have. There's only been one episode, though, right? Or is there a second one? Wifey and I watched it last week, but I think by definition, there's one a week. And if we watched it last week, there should be an episode two now. I think. Is there an episode two, Green Boy? But we have, we have. We, we've seen um, episode one that has come out. There was a really great line in it actually, which is so deep that I'm like, I was talking to Sarah about it yesterday. I'm like, I don't remember where I heard this quote, babe. And then she kind of stops and then eventually goes, I think it was in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier show. And I was like, what? Like how does, how does a random Marvel TV show have a line so deep? But anyway, you know, you might not think it's that deep, but I loved it. Which, um, there, there's a point in the show where, I forget who says it to who, but someone goes, there is no such thing as on time, you're either early or you're late. And I was like, that's tricky. Like, that's deep. And the reason why is because, in my opinion, that's, that's totally true, right? Like, if you're meeting someone at seven, like, there's, there's no getting there at seven. You're not gonna just spawn in, teleport, and all of a sudden you're in front of them. You're either gonna be there a few minutes early, or you're gonna be there a few minutes late. And you've got those two options. Cause Sarah and I, like last night, perfect example, we're catching up with um, Fox, um, 53 and his wife um, for dinner and we were meeting at seven and stream ended at six, we were meeting at seven, a bit of a, a window to get ready and that kind of thing. And then there was a point where wifey was like, oh, we don't need to leave yet. Like, you know, we, we're all good. She was still in a work call. And then I kind of forced the issue and was like, no babe, we, we actually do have to leave. Like I'd rather get there a few minutes early. Like. Yeah, and then because obviously once you start getting up and getting ready, you realize everything takes longer. And next thing you know, we leave and we get there at like 6.58 and we're good. And it was just kind of like, huh, if we waited to be on time, we would have ended up late. We wouldn't have been on time because the getting ready process and traffic and all that would have just pushed it the other way. So I'm kind of adopting that principle now to go, there's no such thing as on time. You're either early or you're late. And I want to be, I want to be Mr. Early every time you know it's, it's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world but a lot of things worthwhile in life aren't easy fam but we do them if they're worthwhile and i think that one's worthwhile so uh there you go next one comes out tomorrow green boy okay i'll keep my eye out dude oh speaking of late bam says morning scar fam i'm late trying to get the kids to school lack of commitment mate you should have just let the kids stay home and been on time to the stream i'm totally kidding bam it's great to have you here though, mate. Great to have you here. Also, Swordy smacked us with a follow. God bless you, Swordy. Welcome to the Scar Fan. Good to have you here. So good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pastor Scar is a sleepy boy. Wait, you changed the exclamation mark late command? No way. What happened to the old exclamation mark late command? We used to have a uh, Lord of the Rings quote on there, which I think Packy put in, and I thought it was brilliant. Um. Do, 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 do. First Marbles Ultra Marathon? What is that? Wait, Sorty, you're from Norway? Brilliant, brilliant. Another one of our Norwegian legends. Winter Soldier says that cool moment. Ah, there you go, there you go, Ultra Robert. He knows, he knows what's up. I like it, it was a very cool moment. You wanna to go to Norway so bad? More than any other country, really bad. Wifey and I also wanna to go to Norway. But I don't know if I'd say it's more than any other country. We, we love travel and we just wanna go like everywhere. Like, we want to go everywhere. Like, pick a place we want to go. Um, you always aim to be on time. It stresses me when I'm late. Yeah, there you go, Kinesi. So yeah, uh, literally that logic then, if you are gonna get stressed out by being late, shoot to be early, dude. Shoot to be early and you'll be chilling. The bus comes the same time your stream finishes. Hey, Milo, the Lord provides, mate. Look at that. Life is timed around it. Bam said, Pastor Sky, I wonder how Cez would take that advice. Hey, uh, ask her. Ask her, report back to us. <laughs> talk, to, talk to the wife, it'll be worth it. 
A mod changed it. I won't name names. All right, FBT. I'll just check the log. Someone's getting fired. All right. <gasps> Wait, hello, me from WCCS? No way. No way. Dude, type in exclamation mark WCCS. Oh, look at that. Kinesi's already done it. No way, you were there yesterday. So ladies and gentlemen, WCCS is my old high school, William Carey Christian School, in case you're wondering what it stands for. And um, I spoke there yesterday. They they had this like youth event thing that they called Jaywalk. When I was a student there, because I, I, I went there. When I was a student there, I used to help run this, this group. Um, and they asked me to come back in and, and speak. So I did, and I got to meet a whole bunch of absolute champions. And one of them is currently in the chat. What your name is really? Really dark, dark blue, so I can't really read it. It says Koba. Yo, that's sick. Y your name is literally Koba from WCCS09. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no way you made a Twitch account just to come and say hi. Actually, you probably did, and that makes you the real MVP. That is incredible. I saw you yesterday for Thingy. That's actually so great. Koba, what a champion. It is so great having you here. Like, God bless you, my friend. That is amazing. You know, yesterday we had Spencer, um, also from William Carey, show up and, and hang out with us for a bit, which was amazing. So uh, there you go. Kobo, do you know Spencer? He's in year 12. He sat at the front on the left. I was talking to him before I got up to speak. Um, and he told me, he was just like, hey, I'm gonna check out your stream. I was like, cool, do it. I'm live this other. And true to form, he showed up. He was there, he was hanging out. And, uh, and he was loving it, which is awesome. Who are your inspirations? Stephen Owen and Usain Bolt are your inspirations? It's a really cool list. Who are my inspirations? Mate, I got a lot. I got a lot, I got a lot of mentors. I got a lot of people that invest into my life, um, which are absolutely people that are inspirations to me. Um, honestly, the list could go on for a while, but in terms of my biggest inspirations, I'm actually gonna go with my parents on this one. They are so like, like, they just have the biggest heart for the kingdom. It is amazing. My, my dad, um, I'm essentially following in his footsteps in a way, not really, like he, he doesn't have a Twitch account. Um, but yeah, there was a time in my dad's life where he was a big corporate, big shot, um, you know, six figure salary. To Trucks, so rude. But yeah, like six figure salary, doing well, you know, like like he was in the corporate space and, and he was climbing and doing well. And he gave all of it up, like the, the full salary to go down to no pay whatsoever to serve God full time because he just, God put it on his heart. He spoke to us, his family, and he said, this is what I'm thinking. Um, we said, if that's what God's put on your heart, then do it. We'll, we'll, we're in, it's all good. Even if our lifestyle changes, even whatever, like it's all good, let's, let's do it. And he did, and he hasn't looked back, and now he's been serving God full time. He was already serving God, involved in the church and all that kind of stuff, but now he's been doing it full time with, with everything that he's got for many, many years, even though he's so overqualified for everything that he does. He's got multiple degrees in multiple things. You know what I mean? Like the guy is just a unit, um, and he's just in frontline ministry as opposed to bringing in big bucks, which he could be doing, but he's choosing not to, and that is such an inspiration because his heart's in the right place and he's going, you know what, the Lord provides, which he does. And so, um, yeah, and of course he could not do that if it weren't for the real unit behind the scenes, my mum. So um, yeah, honestly, like how a couple if there ever was one. Um, some of you here have, have met my parents before. In fact, we are Amber Lights, who I'm seeing in the chat right now, actually work with my dad. So fun fact of the day. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we are Amber Lights. You guys see them in the chat? They're actually a band. All right, they're a band with a heart for the Lord, and I just want to shout them out real quick. Band with a heart for the Lord. They go to schools and and play, or at least did pre-COVID at least, um, and and that kind of thing. I literally caught up with them over breakfast last week. Was it, guys? I think it was last week. They hit me up and they said, "Look, can we get some advice? Can we get some thoughts? Can we pick your brain a little bit? Can you just encourage us?" So I'm like, "Yeah, sure." So I literally we caught up for breakfast um, just near our place and. And they just told me all about what they do and, and I just gave them some tips and tricks, some pointers. Um, it's actually the second time I've caught up with them, um, once last year. And it was really cool. You know what was really cool? When I met up with them last year, I made a bunch of suggestions and I said, look, maybe think about this, pray about this, blah, 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 blah. When I met up with them last week, they had basically taken everything that I had said and 
implemented it in different ways. And like, like you know, when they first started, they weren't on Twitch. Um, they were doing cool things and trying cool things in, in different places. And then I was like, you know, maybe Twitch might be a place because this is what you could do. Um, and then when I met with them last week, they were like, oh yeah, we're on Twitch now. And I'm like, no way. And so that was just really cool. That was just really, really cool to see. Milo, you're not behind me, mate. I can literally see the camera. I can see what's behind me. But um, yeah, it was, it was just really cool. Just seeing their heart for God and going, let's tap into resources that are there and go, all right, how do we, how do, we do this even better? And, and that was really cool. So mad shout out to Amber Light. If you're a muso um, and you want a place to hang out, like honestly, hit a follow on We Are Amber Lights. Like, I don't do this often in terms of shout outs, but um, that's one that I will vouch for. So um, yeah, take, take a look. Um, it's very different. They don't play Fortnite. They don't play video games or anything. They literally will jam and take song requests and um, that kind of thing. And then they do a Bible study as well. So there you go. Oh, Croc Hunter. Oh, you called him Steven. <laughs> Stephen. I've never heard the Croc Hunter referred to as Stephen before, but there you go. Scarf M is Scar's inspiration and his parents. Yeah, true. You guys, you guys inspire me every day. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, also, if you guys could be praying for the stream, um, <laughs> that's a very general thing to say. Um, the last two days in a row, the stream has crashed. And that's never happened in many months. But Thursday, the stream went out. Wednesday, the stream went out. And both times, it was the same thing. It was my streaming PC. And for whatever reason, OBS closed itself. Like the actual broadcasting software closed itself. And I don't know why. It came up saying disconnected. And then it came up saying reconnected. And that's really not ideal. So um, if you guys can just be praying that we can figure out what that is. I changed no settings. Like no, there's there's nothing that I can pinpoint as to what might have gone on. But more importantly, I don't know how to fix it. Um, it's it's something that I can't really replicate. So it's more of a us just trying to figure out like how do we how do we make this not happen again? And I, I really don't know to be honest with you. How often do I stream? Um SMH Mark schedule, Cinema Hall Pie's already put it up for you. Amber Light said, always great catching up with you, Scar. Hey, thank you, friend. Myself, man, thanks so much. You're very, very welcome. Do people know you can change the color of your name? Um, yes, I think most people know that. But the dark blues, I can't read on this laptop. Hold on, is my brightness fully up? Oh, that's so much easier now. I just upped the brightness. Okay. Sorty said, I'm typing bad as I'm on my phone at the moment. Hey, it's all good, man. No one's judging you here. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Season six, Fortnite crashes. Yeah, right. Maybe it's because we updated. Um, maybe it's because we updated Fortnite. There you go. Big Bear has followed Amber Lights. Brilliant, brilliant. There, yeah, you you would like it, mate. You would you would vibe out. Are you a Christian? If you are, that's cool. Yeah, I am. Hundred percent, I am, dude. Your boy's an ordained reverend. <laughs> Wondering, is it the say it with Scar scene? Um, it did crash when we went to say it with Scar yesterday. However, the day before, the day before it crashed. No, we were playing Fortnite. We were literally mid-match. I was in a duo with Quack playing a custom, and that's when it crashed. So it wouldn't be the same with Scar scene. It was both both times it crashed, we were doing something different in a different scene. So good thought process, trying to you know narrow it down. But um, yeah, I don't think so. Time for a new stream PC. <laughs> Mate, I, I don't know how we can afford that one, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and pass. Um, heat related? It could be. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, be praying for sure. Both times was it when you opened Duolingo? Um, no. Both times Duolingo was open. In the background at least. That actually Sky might be, that might be along the right direction because Duolingo, we've only been doing this week, and crashes have only been happening this week. Mind you, we did Duolingo on Tuesday, and it didn't crash. So we did, we we learnt French 
Tuesday and Thursday, but I had it open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So technically three streams with that same variable and stream two and three crashed, stream one didn't. So essentially we just need a bigger data pool so then we can figure out what variables are, pinpoint it, fix it. So we'll get it, man, we'll get it. We may need to do some over the phone slash Discord IT support. Yeah, maybe, maybe FBT. Shall we praying? Yep, thanks Amber, appreciate it. Twitch Prime for name color changes. Wait, do you need Twitch Prime to be able to change your color of your name? There's no way. Yep, so Mud remembers it in the middle of the tussle with Quack. That is right. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm supposed to have ended the stream already. Sorty, we'll see you around. God bless you, friend. Um, check the stream deck isn't changing OBS profiles. How would... Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll check. I didn't think that was a thing, but okay. Would that disconnect the stream though? If you did that? Oh, snow, huge rip. This guy said, yeah, just because I know yesterday it was right when you opened it. Yeah, it was, it was. It literally froze on the transition screen that said, say it with Scar. Um, also, I love that you guys pay so much attention to the stream that even you remember the exact moments where these things happen. Like, you're definitely not sideline watching or just kind of like keeping it on lurk and going off doing your thing. Not that there's a problem with that. Like, if, if that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. We appreciate you nonetheless. But the fact that you're so engrossed in what we do that you're going, hey, yeah, you were up to this part when that thing happened and, and that was that. And it's just like, mate, I love this community. It's so good. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Big Bear's like, Bam, I like you, Bam. We all like Bam. Bam's a good guy. Bam's a great guy. I, I take back. Good guy. He's a great guy. Um, you had it freeze OBS when the wrong profile is out. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look. Can you announce I can go to work? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Scar fam, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me for another Friday morning unfiltered as we have made a coffee, as we have hung out. And <gasps> there's one thing I wanna show you real quick, if that's okay. Just just like one minute. That's two, two, two minutes. All right, two minutes. Just, just check this out because I told you last week about me trying to decide on a TV size. And I told you how I bought cardboard. Well... I made it. So that small box is 65 inch. The other one is 75 and the big, big one is 85. So I was really proud of that. Sorry, hold on. I could hear that Sarah's already in her first meeting of the day. Um, so I'm just moving back outside. But I was really proud of that because, um, you know, I wanted to decide on what TV size to potentially get done if and when I can get a TV. And so, yeah, I just went to Officeworks, bought a whole bunch of cardboard, stuck it together, and uh, went from there. I'm thinking of going with the smallest one, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, but now that I've got it, I can stick it with blue tack on the wall and see what it would actually kind of look like. So, uh, there you go, 200 IQ. We don't, we don't make light decisions here, all right? Uh, it was because you were four minutes late, which is why it eventually froze. Yep, that's got to be it. All right, I got to go. Biggest fun always, 80 inch. Oh man, what, do you know how expensive that would be? Like, it's actually crazy. Again, we want an OLED TV, which like, the 77 inch OLED TV is like $8,000, dude. Like, that's not, that's not throwaway money. That's for sure. Um... You were not going that big because of OLED? Yeah, because it's so expensive. It's the money factor. All right, I gotta go. Um, wait, wait, what did you get that is $340? I saw it on Twitter. Oh, tickets to PAX. Um, there's, so Melbourne, Melbourneites. I'm gonna be at PAX this year, October. Um, you should get tickets too, if you haven't yet, because I'm gonna be there. And if you don't get tickets, then I'll come meet you at a cafe or something. I'm gonna try and do a little meetup. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Right now, PAX haven't actually sent me a confirmation email. So I might not have tickets, but they did charge me. So little concerned, but that's okay. Right now, I've got to end the stream. PAX website crashed so you couldn't get tickets. Yep, Kinesi, it crashed for me as well, but it took my money before it crashed, which is odd um, because the money's gone from my account. I've checked, but I also have no confirmation email or tickets or anything. So. Rip the dream. All right, so I gotta go, but um, I will see you guys on Monday. And tomorrow morning, we've got a YouTube video coming out. Um, Sunday morning, we've got another YouTube video coming out. They're going up at 8 a.m. 
sorry, they're going up at 8 a.m. Um, each weekend morning. So I uh, hope that works for you guys. I love you all. Bragging Cup tonight. Yes, um, drew pictures on the cardboard. Yep, yep, absolutely. All right, see you in about an hour. Yes, I got a, I got a call with the bam. Have a good weekend. Thank you, Sky. Um, I wonder if you could get media passes. That would be cool. That would be very cool. I want to get like a, a streamer pass. Apparently that's a thing, but I couldn't see it on the website. So I just bought a regular one. But uh, all right, I gotta go. God bless you guys. Let me pray for you. And then we are out of here. I'm already seeing the K-Love You Buyers coming in the chat, so good. All right, Father God, thank you so much for this amazing community. I pray that as we start our days, or for those of us that it's already midday or afternoon, as we go on with our day, Lord, that you just keep us safe and well. Help us to keep our hearts in the right place and, and to really focus on the things that we should be focusing on and, and avoid the things that we shouldn't, Lord. And I pray that today is a fruitful, productive, and awesome day for each and every one of us that we can just really really be who you call us to be and remember that we are loved and that we are valuable and that you love us so much, Lord. Thank you that we can do this. Thank you that this time does go by so quickly because we just have such a great time and I just pray that um, the next one will be even better, Lord. Thank you for everything. Thank you for this community and your son's precious and holy name, I pray. Amen. Scarf M, I don't have the amen emotes. I could have got the sign, but I was too tired this morning. I wasn't going to think of that. But I'm seeing them in the chat nonetheless. Sweaty Scar. For Friday bragging. I was considering not streaming it because then I can actually focus on the game, but maybe. I'll put it in the maybe list. I was thinking not streaming it, but recording it. And if it does pop off, then we've got a YouTube video. Like We'll, we'll, we'll put it into a YouTube video, but um, we'll see. We'll see. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted in Discord. Cool, cool, cool. It was a thing last IRL packs. Yeah, there you go. Chicken nuggets, Camtono, yep, run through all of it in your mind, all right? The way that the streams would end. But there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta go. Let me put the chat down. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. You guys are amazing human beings. I appreciate you so much, all right? Catch you in the next one. I hope this morning was a blessing to you. Join me next Friday for another coffee with Scar, and uh, we'll go from there. Cool, cool, cool. Love you guys, all right? God bless you. God loves you, and so do I. And as always, my friends, okay? Love you. Bye. See ya.